Hello, Blender enthusiasts. Today, I'll be talking about the very first steps in Kaleidoscope project. We are going to be making this jam because this is the basis for all the colored bits that go inside the Kaleidoscope. This file will be included on my Gumroad for free so you can download it and play with it there are also some things that we're going to do that uh, i already recorded tutorials about and uh, i include that in the video's description let's get started the very first thing we need to do in order to create this we're going to make a new collection We need to go and check if plugin to make gems is turned on. So you go to preferences and uh, in uh, add ons, you search for extra. And uh, as you can see, add mesh extra objects is checked on for my preferences. Also, while you add it, let's turn on Node Wrangler. So you search for Node, and the Node Wrangler gives us some shortcuts in uh, shader editor that uh, makes our workflow uh, faster and more efficient. All right, so we turn on those two things. Let's close this down. I'm going to go to solid mode and uh, I'm going to press shift A and now under mesh, I have some additional options and one of them is diamonds so i'm going to choose a gem for this one and uh, comes in like this i probably want to move it step to its pivot so i will go to edit mode G to Z. Okay, here we go and i'm going to put my pivot at the center of my world with shift c now we will need to make a, a base for this guy to sit on. Let's place the gem at the center. Alt G and uh, press Shift A. And we're going to make a cylinder. And let's move our cylinder down. Tab G to Z minus one. Go to front view and let's scale it, um, excluding Z, something like that, and I'll scale on the Z side. And uh, let's scale it from our uh, 3D cursor. So I'm going to press period and choose 3D cursor, and scale Z, make that. A little bit thinner, something like that should work. All right. Um, so uh, while we edit, uh, we should also probably um, set a camera. So let's get an angle that we like. I don't know, something, something like this, perhaps. Um, and uh, now let's make a camera with Shift A. Go to object mode for that, uh, so camera. And uh, I can now align my camera to this view uh, by pressing Control Alt Zero on my numpad. Awesome. So, all right, now, Let's go to material preview. Um, now, uh, please note uh, that uh, my background is using a gradient ramp. And uh, I will actually, right now, go to my world, give you an opportunity to take a snapshot of my shader. All right. Um, so, and uh, there is a tutorial uh, on 
how to do this uh, in my playlist. The link will be in the description. Uh, but basically what's going on here is my background is controlled uh, with two things. So one of them is a gradient ramp, which is affecting what we see behind uh, the geometry. And this right here is the HDRI uh, texture, uh, which is used to light my scene, right? So they're separated. So the lighting uh, of the scene is not connected to the background. We are in a shading stage of this. So as you can see, I have a shader editor. It's one of my uh, windows and right now it's set to the world. So what I'll do, I'll set it back to object and now I'm gonna click the gem and uh, I wanna give gem a glass shader, give it new click on this guy, which is principal BSDF shader. And what I'm actually going to do is change this shader to glass. So, and I think that will make everything a lot simpler, especially for those of you who uh, are new to Blender. Alrighty, so to change this node, I'm going to press Shift S. And now, as you can see, I can go and choose glass BSDF. Here we go. And my gem now uh, suddenly became reflective and all the good stuff. So now we're going to move perhaps to our preview mode to kind of see a little bit more accurate what's going on. So um, glass shader has a color, um, right? So you can control color of your gemstones with this. And then it also has roughness. So and roughness controls how essentially translucent it is, right? So maximum uh, roughness means that you can't really see through it. It's completely matte. Uh, think of it as if it was like in the ocean or if it, as if it was sandblasted. Alrighty, so cool, but uh, you know we don't want it to be matte. We actually do want it to be semi-translucent, but uh, maybe not as bright as if it was like a real, real gem. Alrighty, so something, something like this. So, and now what we're going to do? We're going to use exactly the same material for the base, and that is because in the kaleidoscope the base is also, you know, made out of transparent material that uh, passes light through. So and what I'll do, I select it here and I go and I choose this new material that I made. Yeah, and it makes it actually <laughs> quite awesome. Uh, maybe I should render this uh, at some point. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to click this button right here and that will unlink those two materials or unlink those two objects from the same material, make this material unique. So I'm going to click this. And now I can pull this new base, base. And here, what I'm going to do, I'm actually going to make this material very rough and uh, this purple color kind of like. All right, awesome. That's looking quite good. So the only thing left is to check our render settings. So in my case, uh, the dimensions, as you can see, 20 by 1080, I'm going to render 100%. I do have filmic and very high contrast turned on. So let me show you what that does. No contrast, very high contrast, right? So that looks a lot better. Alrighty, so, and once I checked all the things out, I'm going to save, so save as. Okay, and uh, now we can go ahead and render. So uh, F11, uh, we'll call your render window. All right, so I actually have some things in it already. Press F12. Now for the rest of the bits, once you finish modeling them, you apply the same glass material, I'll make it unique and uh, add some color variation and uh, tr translucency variation to it. And uh, I will be showing you in the next tutorial how to actually create the variation of those bits. And I'll show you 
uh, what type of bits go inside the kaleidoscope and now we're going to match all of that with modeling in blender Alrighty, i hope that was fun the kaleidoscope uh, effect at the end is going to look awesome i promise and um uh, don't forget to like us and subscribe. Uh, we're Digital Monkey School. We also teach uh, Zoom classes. So if you want to support us, you can sign up for those. I will talk to you in the next tutorial. Bye.